Today is episode three of our five-part Drew Holiday defensive breakdown series, and today we're going to be discussing his low post defense. So we've seen this clip before when, in episode one when we talked about his chest stops, but we didn't see the second part of this clip where he switches on to Dwight Howard and has to front the post. Now fronting the post is when your chest is facing the ball handler, your lower back is pushing and driving the post player back under the rim like Drew Holiday is doing right there, which allows the low defender here to help on the back side in case the offensive player does throw over top like they do here. On this pass though, Drew Holiday goes high hands and can intercept it. In this next segment, we're gonna discuss Drew Holiday walling up. He's one of the best wall up defenders in the NBA for the low post. The Bucks right here are gonna kick out or scram switch out to get Drew Holiday onto Ben Simmons. Now, the first part of walling up, let's talk about the stance. You're gonna have a wide base, which you can see he has a wide base. His shoulders are gonna be over his knees right here, which allows him to take the bump. As you can see, Ben Simmons is attempting to deliver him a bump. And you're gonna have low hips, which allow you to have power and balance. Then when you wall up, you're taking away the middle, like Drew Holiday is doing right here. You wanna be a half step higher than the offensive player's foot closest to the paint. So watch, you can see Drew Holiday's left foot. When Ben Simmons tries to deliver the bump, his left foot is slightly higher than Ben Simmons' right foot, right or his left foot right there. And the defender's shoulders higher than the offensive player's shoulder to take away that middle drive. So you can see Drew Holiday's left shoulder is higher up the line than Ben Simmons' shoulder. So you're really trying to take away that midline. You do not want your chest completely topside. So Drew Holiday wouldn't want his chest all the way up here because then Ben Simmons can just spin back or drop step back baseline and get a layup or a finish right at the rim. Now, Drew Holiday does an excellent job right here of using his left hand to basically swipe down to take away the comfort level to go straight up into a finish. Now, in this example here, watch how Drew Holiday slightly pushes out Aaron Gordon prior to the ball arriving to him. So, on the fly to the ball, he's going to use his left hand to slightly push Aaron Gordon off his spot. So that's one foot further out from the Malone line. Then he's going to have his shoulders over his knees to take the bump from Aaron Gordon. His left arm is basically going to be on Aaron Gordon's hip. Or it could be an arm bar based off the ref. But a lot of the times you're going to see that left hand or the baseline hand as jamming the hip to control the hip of the offensive player. And on the bump, he's gonna use his chest to embrace the bump and then throw his hands high and wide so he doesn't get a foul call. Now also what Drew Holiday does an excellent job of is this outside hand is very active, trying to take away the comfort level and the vision of the offensive player. So in this example, it's Aaron Gordon. And now once he attempts to spin or basically drop step to go baseline. Watch Drew Holiday. His hand's gonna go right up to contest Aaron Gordon with his left hand, so that baseline hand can go up right in the shooting pocket to contest that fade, and it turns into a block. On this example here, Drew Holiday is gonna switch onto Christian Wood. He's gonna attempt to front the post here. Now Christian Wood does an excellent job here of breaking contact and then resealing. But watch how Drew Holiday uses his left hand, like we talked about in the previous clip, to push him out. So he catches it one step further out than he would like to. And now you can see his chest is over his knees and he's in a wall up position with a wide base ready to take the bump. And now you can see he stands him up and he uses his left hand, that baseline hand like we saw in the previous clip to contest the shot and block it. This is an excellent example of Drew Holiday's active hands like we discussed in episode two. So he's gonna take the bump on this wall up and use his left hand as his outside hand to swipe in and get a deflection which leads into a steal. On this switch right here, he's gonna use his left hand to push out Tobias Harris. 
and then use it to control his hip by jamming it. Use his outside hand to be active to take away the comfort level and vision. And then he's going to take the bump right now and then use that outside hand again to get a swipe and a deflection. Now watch this. This is an excellent defensive possession on KD. Watch how he pushes him out right now. So KD catches a, a couple feet further out than he would like to. His left hand is jamming the hip. His right hand is ready to be active and stab at the ball like he does there. He bumps him. You can see his shoulders are over his knees. He basically is going to take it in the chest. The bump takes another bump and KD attempts to basically drop step or spin off baseline. And he's going to use his left hand like we saw in a couple clips earlier and contest the shot high, which alters the shot and forces a miss. That is episode three of Drew Holiday's low post defense. We still got episodes four and five left.